Recently, I was going on a trip with my family and I wanted to have some classical children's book on my Kindle for my daughter. And so I downloaded some some books that are in open domain uh, from Google and those came as EPUB or MOBI file format. And it was difficult to send those uh, into my Kindle. Now, Amazon has its own way, but uh, I came across a tool called Calibre. I have used this in the past, but haven't used recently. But Calibre is a free and open source tool that makes it incredibly easy to connect to Kindle wirelessly and send all your ebooks or even PDFs or other documents that you may have. So in this video, we'll learn how you can set it up and send them uh, wirelessly uh, to your Kindle or any other devices. Now, Calibre is a, a full-fledged ebook tool. You can create your own ebooks. You can convert ebooks. Uh, you can uh, send them into your devices and so so many other things. And so, in this video, we'll just learn one of the ways, which is a recommended way from Calibre. And so, if you haven't downloaded and installed, just Google for Calibre and then download and install it. And as you install, the wizard will walk you through send it to Kindle option. But if you haven't, uh, then I'll just walk you through right here once you install Caliber. And so you, all you have to do is go to Preferences and then go to Sharing and then Sharing Books by Email. Okay. So here we are going to set up uh, our Kindle ebook, email, and so on. And so Caliber recommends using GMX. Uh, GMX is like Gmail, which is an, uh, uh, just an email provider. It's free to start a new a new email and so on. So if you don't want to use your own Gmail, you may rather use this GMX. So let's go to gmx.com. Uh, well, before that, you might wonder what is this GMX, right? You may not have heard. Uh, actually, GMX is a German company and it's been there for many, many years, uh, just like Gmail. So it's a pretty safe uh, website, uh, just like a Google and so on. So it is, and what we are going to do is it's just, we are going to use that just for the Kindle, okay? And so if you go to GMX, email uh, and then you can sign up and then just like any other sign up uh, you create your own email address and then just follow the instruction password and usual stuff and create an email account now it allows you to use a pop3 or stmp server which caliber will be using to send emails automatically okay and so the first step is to set up your gmx account again as i said this is their recommended way to do uh, the sharing books by email. So once you have that, just enter your GMX email address and your password and then click OK. I already have that set up here and so it's already set to send email. Now the next step is to have the email that Kindle receives. And so Kindle, uh, you can actually create, uh, you can have an email that Kindle can receive uh, ebooks from. And so I'm going to po post this uh, link into the description. But if you don't have that, then just search for send to Kindle email. And you should come across this page. And so all you need to do is to find this Kindle e email address is go to manage your content in your Amazon account and then preferences and personal document settings. And so, and then as it says, you can you can actually send a lot of different file formats. You can send BMP, which is a image file, a document, doc, like a Word document, EPUB, GIF, e even HTML, and then some more pictures and PDFs and all kinds of things. So it's pretty, pretty uh, wide variety of file format that it accepts. So once you click on this, you will come across, uh, you know, uh, the Amazon setting account, uh, setting page. And then if you scroll down, you will come across personal document settings. And then you should get something like this. And so it should have all your uh, Kindle listed and then email associated with it. So once you note down this Kindle email address, scroll down to where you will see something like approved personal document email list. And so these are the email lists that Amazon will approve to receive uh, eBooks from. And so it's as simple as just adding your email address. Uh, and this is just to prevent any spam because you know, if somebody gets hold of this Kindle email address, they can just send you anything, right? And so Amazon makes it you know, this additional step in which they only receive email address, uh, email from this particular email address list only. So make sure that you en uh, enable that uh, and add your email address. So in this case, it will be our GMX account. So it'll be whatever your email ID is at the rate gmx.com. Okay. So now that you have these two set up, all we have to do is go to 
here, click add, and then add your Kindle account. And so I'm going to just quickly add my Kindle account and then click and uh, apply. All right, so I have added that and then just click apply and you should see uh, basically a list in here. Okay, so for security, I just don't, I, I won't open that. And so now you have set up your GMX account connected with your Kindle. And so all you have to do is you just, uh, let's say I already have this EPUB. Uh, in fact, let me just open an EPUB file. So let me go to this particular site where I found a number of these old classic uh, books. And so let me just click on one of these. And so it goes to this Gutenberg uh, ebook uh, site. And it's taking a little longer. Okay. And so then they have a different ways in which you can download this ebook. Uh, so usually I go in this EPUB 3 or if you have an older Kindle, you can actually download Kindle or older Kindle uh, ebooks. And so if you actually hover, you can see right there it shows .kindle.images. And so basically I right click, save links as, and then just save that document somewhere in my downloads folder. I basically have these uh, these different, e like a Mobi file that I basically select and then just drag and drop it on Caliber. And then it should uh, it should upload it. Since I have already added it, it's just complaining that there's a duplicate. So I don't want to re-upload that. And so now I have the eBooks that I would like to send to Kindle. So I can send one or more. So I can select let's say two and then go to connect and then go to this email uh, for the Kindle email address. And so click on that. And then it's it'll start to send this this books. If you go on the lower right corner, the jobs, it'll tell you where it is working. And so it is actually already emailed one of them, and then it's sending the other one. Now by default, it sets a uh, sort of a a wait between the the sending of emails, uh, just for the security purpose. Because if you send too many ebooks, uh, the servers at Kindle might think that you're spamming them, and so it can be trigger a spam filter there and so in order to avoid that it just waits about three minutes before it sends another book so you don't really have to do you just close this let it do its thing and and in about four or five minutes or uh, you know you should have both the ebooks sent to your kindle and then if you open your kindle it will download these two books uh, right there for you to read and so i hope uh, it helped i know there were a lot of steps but if you actually follow this video it's it's pretty straightforward one time thing and from now on, you can, as, as we saw, all different kind of file format, you can basically send any kind of document using this uh, Calibre tool to Amazon, even without connecting it to, to, to your computer. And so if you like to read some other documents or PDFs, you can follow the same method. You just drag and drop the PDFs here and then select and send it, and it should work as well. So I hope you learned something new. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you like the content of this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.